guys, it's Patrick here, Making It Green. Today we're going to be reviewing Anthem Yarborough Stout from the state of Oklahoma, actually in Oklahoma City, so local beer. Yarborough Stout, another cool label. This comes in at a whopping 8.5% alcohol, which is a lot for a stout. So it's recommended to, to serve it at about 46 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't be drinking that beer hot, is what they say. Oh, and let me tell you guys before I start this. I know my cat was the star of the show last time. She's not going to be in this episode. All right? And that's final. Fine. I'll let her do the cat taste test. But that's it. Let's give it a try. Like I said, Anthem Brewery is here in the heart of Oklahoma City. Okay, so right away, oh, that smells good. It smells like cho dark chocolate in a candy store. Got some cinnamon, some coffee. It's got a nice tanned khaki head. Very dark. Love that color. So again, we're getting sugar, roasted malts. Really good, dark chocolate. Oh, and it's delicious. So I can taste the 8.5% alcohol. Yeah, this beer is going to pair well with, like, dark chocolate, of course. Beef. Mm. You need it with hummus. You can drink it with hummus. A lot of carbonation for a stout. I like that. Makes me burp. We're getting cinnamon in the taste. Chocolate. Of course, you've got the coffee. You really smell those roasted malts. Pretty funky. Rad. Let's get this. Really cool brewery. So let's let's let her relax a little bit. Go ahead, take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give her some sniffs. What kind of smells are you smelling here? Okay. She seems to like it. Now, usually she shies away, like harshly. Come here. This time, she's letting it get close. She may not look interested, but she is. Anyways, that's a wrap for her. Get out of here. Nobody wants to see you. That's the most boring part of the show. Okay, so like I told you guys before, this pairs well with hummus. So what did I bring for you guys today? I've got a chip and a hummus. Let's try it. Now hummus, I really, how would that go well with a drink? That's, you're already kind of drinking something. I mean, it's liquidy enough. Okay, let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's an epiphany. This is really good. They did not lie. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I first saw hummus on there, I was like, all right, I'll tell them that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm doing it, and I'm liking it. Okay, so enough of that. I've got a special guest for you guys today. I know, second episode, special guest, what? Yeah, okay. So Fish actually really likes beer. Fish is our Boston Terrier named, well, Fish. All right, try this. Yeah, he likes it. He knows all the right beers. But that's enough, because he's underage. He's like one. Actually, he's gonna try the beer. Why not try the hummus? Come here, try that. Anthem is a really cool brewery. We like going there. They make really good beer. Fun fact. <laughs> Euroboros is actually a symbol of a snake swallowing its own tail, and it represents wholeness and infinity. Uh, really cool, actually. What? Oh, this old thing? Oh, yeah. I got this a few months ago. Pretty cool. Euroboros glass. Why am I not drinking out of it? Okay, so if you like chocolate, and you like beer, and you like awesome stuff, you should really give this beer a try. 
<laughs> so let me give this one more sip before I decide if it goes in the top five or if it gets smashed. Yeah, it's gonna go in the top five for sure. It's definitely gonna take the place of one of these beers. But which one? Is it gonna take the place of Colorado native, only Colorado ingredients, Pilsner? Is it gonna take the place of Prairie Standard, fruitful, hoppy farmhouse ale? Is it gonna take the place of Wild Sour, which is a warhead in your mouth? Or is it gonna take the place of DNR? Local brewed Belgian ale. Or is it gonna take the place of the Hoptometrist brewed by Rough Tail in Midwest City, Oklahoma? This one tastes like you're drinking a Caribbean beach. Actually, that probably wouldn't taste well. It tastes like you're drinking all the Caribbean fruits. So I've decided it's gonna take the place of the Prairie Standard. Now, not that Prairie doesn't make good beers. They have some killer beers, but this one just doesn't happen to be my favorite. But Prairie uh, props, you make good beers. Your burrows is gonna take your spot. Thank you guys again for joining me today. Tasting the great Euroboros Anthem Stout. Look at that cute little guy. He's under your bed at night. I'm a llama llama. Ah! Why? The power of Christ compels you. Uh, shoot. Where'd your bump? Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, this beauty ain't uh. Ah, uh, uh. Yeah, I know. Ashley, you gotta try this. She said totally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this page. It would mean a lot to me. Also, if there's a beer you want me to try, comment below. Come on. Your beer could make it on the shelf. The cat could sniff it. The dog could lick it. And I might even like it. Anyways, thanks for joining us today. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it green.